Well, good opening day evening, everyone. Lots of shooting going on here in the last hour or so. My brother-in-law got himself a really nice seven point, huge on one side. If technically it was, it was an a, eight, yeah, it was a fighter apparently at some point, but really, crossing. really nice deer, really nice deer. Yeah, the you know when we're talking about an eight point, we're not talking about like a little. We're talking like yeah, this each one's time big. Is like this. I'll get him to send me a picture. I'll just put it on the community post, but we managed to get something accomplished today that's really, really huge to me, guys. Saving the roof of my garage. The uh, My brother-in-law, bless his heart, bought us two tarps that's obviously, you can see, large enough to cover both sides of this garage. So we had me, Carl, Tracy, Chuck, my neighbor, Paul, and who am I forgetting? Pete, of course. Pete was the one that bought the tarp pete did a whole bunch of the work so we got it down it's covered we'll have to go back and put some more strips in a few places but it should save my garage for the winter so i'm quite relieved about that guys because obviously if the wood on the roof of my garage gets wet it gets ruined and my garage is trash so that is the last thing on my it's not a bucket list. It's just the list in my brain of things I needed to do before the snow flies this year. So, very cool. We just thought we'd take this time to talk to you for a few minutes. I just keep looking at that thing. <laughs> this thing is insane. It's so big. Look at the baby. Look at the little baby pig. <laughs> little baby pig. Daddy. <laughs> Big daddy. So maybe we'll get lucky and walk over here and see a buck or a deer of any sort. So Oh they're they're probably all in a tizzy. So the doctors also did put me back up to four milligrams on the steroid, but they only gave me ten pills. But you can't continually take steroids oh i get that they did increase the xanax to three times a day but they did not give me a 30-day supply they only give me <laughs> i don't get it guys i don't get it why would you not give me a full month but whatever you're gonna see him again yes so i'll be all right they gave me enough they gave me plenty to get through and then the tran what is that other one there's a pill that my other doctor gave me that i never took because he had given me Tramadol, Tramazone, I don't know what it is, it's something, but it was something that was given to me by my pain clinic doctor. He gave me two pills at the time, this is way back when all this first started, and I never ever took it. Well, the doctors yesterday, when she, when Bianca, the lady, talked to Tracy, talked to Dr. Thakor, my cancer doctor, they said, take this, try it, it'll help you sleep. Well, I don't have nothing to lose at this point, guys, because I went to bed at 7 o'clock last night because I was just, I hit a wall. I was exhausted. I could not even stand up. I was so tired. So I slept on like midnight, so I got five hours there. Got back up a little after midnight. Half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe. And then I got another almost five hours of sleep after that till 5 o'clock. So I got close to 10 hours of sleep last night, first time in forever. Are we hearing a deer? What are you seeing? Is it a tree a skunk? He's a woodpecker. Oh, a big woodpecker. Yep, I see it. Because I was like, what is that? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, flew away. Oh, that means that tree's dying. Probably. <laughs> so, dying. lost my train of thought there, guys. He got some decent sleep. Yeah. So, we'll see how it goes tonight, too. And after doing all that work today, it should have tired me out because I was running out of energy. I had to sit down. And that, 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 that's the bad part about this cancer, guys. It is absolutely sapping my strength or, or I don't have any energy. Yeah, I saw two black squirrels okay. so far. Oh, there's the woodpecker the, again. That's the only good thing, guys, about this time of the year is we can actually see what's going <laughs> on over there. Oh, same tree. You're back. Hi. 
this piece. I am really surprised we haven't, you know, at this time of the day, usually there's a lot of shooting going on. And our, our lovely neighbor is still here. We're a little surprised by that. Last year he left two days before the 15th on the 13th. This year they're still there and his flag is still flying. So we're not sure. I cannot imagine that they would stay here during the winter when they have the means to leave for the winter. So we shall see. But even with everything dead and gone, that still looks pretty. Come on, man. Something yell at us. Something throw something. Something... Give us a sign. Who? Oh, hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty gypsy. What a good kitty. And Mr. Buddy, you guys, has been sleeping on my legs, which is really, really cool because he's not, not really ever been an affectionate cat. Even when he was Ken's cat, he was very aloof, as most cats can be. But this morning, today... This morning and today, I should say, he was laying on my legs, which was really cool. Mr. Ozzy, our long-haired black cat, has just been the sweetest. Laying with me, laying on my lap while I'm watching TV. It just, and it makes me cry, guys, because he's special. There's something, something special about that cat. And to, to lose me, for him to lose me, just sucks. And I told Carl, I said, you better make sure that cat's taken care of. Out of all my other cats, Wizzy, Topaz, they're like 14. Probably won't be around forever, much longer. But Ozzy's only going on six. So he deserves to have a really good life. So it's nice enough tonight, guys. I may put the microphone out for a little bit if I can stay awake. I'm not going to have too many opportunities where I feel up to it. And uh, with all the shooting and the hunters and the deer being stirred up and Sasquatch, you would think, would take advantage of uh, everything being in chaos. Because Think about it, you know, that's chaos to the deer to have everything the shooting and everything that happened today totally flips their world upside down so they'll probably be moving around a lot tonight whatever that was i heard it i don't know if the camera picked it up Kind of sound like a ooh or something. Don't know. But man, today was gorgeous, guys. It was almost 60 degrees on November 15th. That is insane. Actually, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> just gorgeous it was like that yesterday it's supposed to be like that again tomorrow so we should easily be able to get the rest of the tarp put down and have my roof be protected for the winter time just got to make sure we get it screwed down good where the wind won't oh, allow it to flop around because if it starts flopping around, then it's going to rip. That's the last thing I want. I just want to be done with it and not have to worry about it. And, uh, hi, Miss Gypsy. See how sweet she is, guys. She's just the sweetest kitty. <laughs> sweetest girl. And I just wanted to thank you guys. Y'all made brought a tear to my eye with all your wonderful comments. It means so much that y'all think so highly of us and you and you enjoy our videos and we're just two people here living in a fortunately in a really pretty little spot but uh 
you are like family to us too. You mean a lot. And it's uh it's just awesome that y'all care so much. It's heartbreaking to me what this is gonna end up doing in the long run to our relationship, you know, just I don't know, there's no good way to put it. But we really, really love you guys and your support. It blows me away that you guys walked away from Crazy Lake and stuck with us because I never thought anything like that was possible. And I see what he's doing now. Like, what in the hell, dude? You do you and you do you good, but you really let yourself go. I'm sorry, but you did. You were you were Charlie Sheen handsome. And I guess, you know, when you got money, you can do what the hell you want and not care what anybody thinks. But... And now that you're living in the Philippines or whatever, and I would too, I would not be here right now, especially with my condition. If I did not have to be here, as much as it would pain me to walk away from this, I would have to. But if I had the means, I would. <sighs> so, just thought we'd do a evening check-in here. And, uh... I will certainly uh, share with you if I hear or see anything tonight. And again, thank you all for your support and kind words and the prayers and the love. And, you know, we're not, you all know we're not big in the prayers and all that, but everything you guys can do and every good vibe you can send our way, we will take it. So y'all have a good evening. Thank you.